All right, what's going on everyone? So, as you can see, I just did the unboxing bullshit for the truck. And uh, <clears throat> I guess I gotta move all this shit over. If you guys don't know, if you guys are new, I uh, have a slightly faster than normal fast is uh, Fox Body. <laughs> and uh, I have a Turbo Silverado I'm building. Let me throw all this shit up here. All this nice shit. I'm gonna mess it all up. So yeah, I still have a, I have a Turbo Silverado I'm in the process of building, but uh, this is going to be just about the Mustang. Um, I got something cool in this box. All right, so like I was saying, I got something cool in this box. You know what, let's do it back here. It's not very heavy. Ah, this is probably where I should have done the first unboxing. Hopefully that's in frame. So I got this from Motion Raceworks. And it was here today. Can't really argue with that. I didn't, you know, didn't pay for fast shipping or anything. But it also helps that they're in the Midwest and so am I. Um, but yeah, got here fast. And... Should be pretty cool. Got to, got to put all my stickers to the side. <clears throat> hey, I got a Tootsie Pop. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you guys might know what this is. Already by the packaging. We gotta get this. <clears throat> nice. This is cool. So, you guys probably guessed it. It's a parachute. If all else fails, <laughs> please. Oh, that's great. Oof. I don't know. I might have to edit that out. I might have to surprise you guys with the shoot. <clears throat> cool. That should be awesome. I'll have to... I don't know if I'm going to bolt it up in this video. Hopefully that's in frame. I don't know if that is or not. That should be pretty freaking cool. <clears throat> so, I am going to open this up. I guess I'm going to do that tonight. That's what I'm going to do because I can't do the hot side on the truck yet. I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to film it because I'm going to look like a jackass because I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, nor do I know how to pack a shoot. This is my first. Um, so yeah, let me get uh, let me get after this. And I got to mount it up on there and do a couple other things. So let me get to that. And then uh, I might show you guys me packing it, but you guys are all going to make fun of me. Um, so I might just pack it. I might just show you the shoot and then pack it and then... Uh, that might be all you guys get, and then I'll, I'll kind of show you guys the final product. But let me get after it real quick, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys here in a minute. All right, guys, so I got my shoot mount done. You're going to have to excuse the hair and mullet because I don't have my hat on right now. I've had it for a little while. Uh, I guess as a Fox Body owner and a Turbo Silverado. So, <laughs> Turbo Silver, Silv? Okay. Uh, Turbo Truck owner, I... Uh, you have to have a mullet for the summer, so I gotta get, get my Pit Viper lenses still, and uh, we'll be making some burnout videos here very soon. But uh, I wanted to show you guys, I got my shoot mount uh, all finished up. I do have to be, I think I'm gonna be a ricer and get a remove before flight tag. Uh, I don't know if I really like the way they look, but uh, I want some type of pin in here. Otherwise, what I could do is just put like a key tag 
and like a cotter pin, or not a cotter pin, whatever those trailer slip pins are. Uh, but I wanted, you know, I do like the removal for flight tag because it's a big red tag that, you know, you're obviously going to notice. I was thinking also I might just leave the string in it, but uh, I don't, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, this line is ran, came with a little grommet for the back. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not the, it's not packed the nicest, but it, it works. I want to do like a side shot and show you guys, but it's been raining and I don't want to bring the car out in the rain. But other than that, I don't remember what I filmed yesterday. I don't know if I showed you guys the, the actual shoot or not, but it was really cool. But uh, hopefully you guys can see this. I made this little uh, stand, I guess, and just bolted this down to it. And this, that string is in it, but I still don't want to pull it. Uh, I can hear the thing moving in there. But <coughs> uh, this, this is going to work really well. It's not going to be in the way at all of me shifting. Uh, you know, my arm might touch it, but, um, well, I guess I can't really show you guys because I'm on this side of it, but my jacket might touch it, but it's not anything. I'm not, not really worried about it. I'm just mainly worried about running if I come forward with it. But the good thing about this is, is it's a reverse manual, so all that's going to go you know, backwards. The only thing I'm going to be pushing forward during the run is this uh, for turning on the nitrous. But this is way up out of the way. Like how I'd reach for it is way out of the way of <clears throat> the parachute handle. Um, it is kind of sitting, you know, I could even scoot these uh, two bolt holes up here. So it is adjustable. You know, I could put... Uh, these, I, how am I trying to word this? I could use these two bolt holes. That would move the whole thing back like a quarter inch. So that would even put this handle down further, uh, further down here. Um, and I think I have some adjustment right here to where I could thread this in more. And that would also pull it further back down. Uh, I just don't want it to be too far down here. Um, I don't want it to be super hard to access but I don't want it to be in the way at the same time. Now I plan on putting a cage in this car. Uh, I'm probably, I'm really not too far away from that. And what I do, what I'll do when I have that in here is I'll have a crossbar uh, and I'll have a halo bar up here, but I'll have a crossbar probably. And uh, I'll put my chute handle somewhere up here. Um, and I plan on moving this wiring and stuff to the top bar, but that's all. I, you know, I don't, I don't have it yet. I have to get the material, and then a friend of mine, I can't get out of the car, um, said that he was going to help me bend it up and measure and uh, basically help me bend it, and then I would just have to notch it and fit it in the car. Um, that's not really that difficult. That would be hopefully like a weekend job. But um, at this point, it is 100% race ready besides the cage. Uh, I wanted to put new brakes on it and stuff, but I don't, the budget doesn't, isn't there uh, this, this go around. It is just using stock brakes, and uh, they're, they're tiny. They don't stop the best. Uh, I also, that's you know part of the reason why I got the chute. It was either get a chute or upgrade just the front brakes um, and for the price that I made the chute mount uh, with the chute that wouldn't even get me a strange brake set I could get rears um, this car has a nine inch with drum bra drum brakes in it still I could have got like a rear uh, strange uh, swap to disc kit but I don't you know I don't really care as much about the rear brakes as I do about the front um, but yeah, I figured I'd just show you real quick. Um, <clears throat> it turned out really good. I do like the shoot a lot. Uh, I'm gonna do a little test video here. If it's nice this weekend, uh, maybe Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'll just let you guys know and that'll be another video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'm pretty excited about the shoot, it's pretty awesome. Didn't wanna show you guys me packing it cause I was definitely a noob. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. 
I gotta get cracking on the truck. And uh, actually, I'm not even gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna show you guys that in the next video. So uh, hopefully, see you guys then.